good morning traders well risk off was the narrative for global markets again with uh, equity sliding uh, bond yields remaining stubbornly high this saw uh, the us dollar have a choppy session with the us dollar index uh, in a finish, finishing the session flat in, in real range bound trade unemployment claims did come in uh, pretty much in line with consensus had very little impact though the philly fed which is already a tier two news release did uh, did have a big beat coming in at plus 12 instead of an expected minus 10. Uh, so the highest print since April 2022. This along, I guess, with stubbornly high yields uh, and the general risk off background saw the US dollar reverse some early weakness on uh, the yuan intervention headlines. The dollar index pushing its head above that resistance to the July highs before stalling. Uh, Japanese yen was the G10 outperformer, uh, dollar yen, uh, now having eight straight days of printing higher highs and lower lows, it's, which is its longest streak of doing that since uh, just before the, the Bodge intervention uh, last uh, October. Um, dollar yen hit a high in the APAC trading around 146.56. Um, weak Japanese data that was released. Uh, it did fade to hit a low of 145.62. Um, there wasn't a peep out of the Jap uh, Japanese Ministry of Finance, but uh, DESA, I guess, put the recovery in the yen down to the, the rate differentials um, uh, compressing somewhat as there was a pretty disastrous JGB auction which saw Japanese rates um, rise while the US rates really kind of plateaued where they were. Um, another currency on the intervention watch list is a Chinese yuan. There's a bit of excitement there last night. Bloomberg reports that the Chinese authorities are telling state banks to escalate their yuan intervention. That, so that saw the dollar yuan have its uh, largest drop of the month, breaking a, a five day rally um there's also theories floating around that uh, chinese authorities are uh, funding the yuan intervention for selling u.s treasuries which would explain the uh the, the bear market in u.s treasury somewhat higher yields that come along with that um which is pretty unusual in a risk-off environment aussie kiwi with the g10 underperformers uh aussie underperforming the new zealand dollar after a big miss in the aussie employment report where uh, unemployment ex unexpectedly rose to 3.7% and jobs fell 15,000 or so instead of going up 15,000. So a, a, definitely a big miss there. Uh, after that, the Aussie dollar, US dollar printed a low of around 63, 65. Uh, it did move back higher on the yuan strength later in the session though. And Aussie Kiwi did recover somewhat after that dip to, to get above that key 108 level. Gold, again, moved lower. Uh, XAU USD breaking key support at 18. 92 after testing the uh, the the key uh, resistance of 1902 early in the session. Um, just higher yield, stronger US dollar, obviously weighing on the precious metal there. Now, today's economic calendar very light, only really UK retail sales of any importance.